back. It's been a while, I know, but I'm going to start this video off by saying that this is the very first time that I have done any snow globe whatsoever. So we are going to go on this journey together. I am going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you what I should not have done. I'm going to tell you the things that worked and I'm going to tell you the things that did not work. First of all, you need a drill. I'm sure your husband, you, whoever, somebody has a drill that's probably very close by and um, you want to get the biggest drill bit that you can. I did not, I did not have a very big drill bit but it actually worked just worked out just fine but um, I'm pretty sure that if the bigger the better kind of thing it would have been a little bit easier to get the glitter in and the liquid in and etc etc so all the other people that I watched obviously to get some advice um, were like take it easy take it easy take it slow you know on the drill well the drill, I mean, I had to push on this. Now, I will say that I did need to replace the battery after a few of them. So maybe the battery was a little bit down on that. But anyways, I, but I did once I, I could kind of feel it like really getting to the end there. I just kind of took it easy and just really held on and to make sure that I didn't just go straight through that second wall because this is a double walled tumbler. I will also say that these particular tumblers I just found at Walmart. They were right there when you walk in the door and they, they are Pioneer Woman um, and they're super adorable, but I have looked for them online several, multiple times and they are not available. So if you go to Walmart and you see them, I have found them on like Macari and like marketplace but i didn't want to link those people because i don't know them and i don't know what they're up to so but there has been a couple of ones that i've seen if you wanted to actually get these but there are plenty 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 of double walled tumblers out there that you can order that you can snag that you can whatever and i basically like i said we're going to go on a journey and we are going to do this together so as you could see at that that last moment that i was trying to get that little plastic piece out of the bottom so once i drilled in it the plastic that was drilling through it landed inside so it took me a minute it took me a little bit longer than even this video showed but i was able to finally get it out i had to use my little pick and try to get i mean but i finally got all the little pieces out so I think there might have been a couple of little tiny pieces, but, you know, once you put the glitter in, whatever. But it is better that you try to get those out of there. So at this point, I had already done another tumbler that I was doing for my nephew, which is the whole reason this thing started, because he wanted a snow globe type tumbler with glitter. He wanted the Astros on there. And so I could not do that for, you know, uh, YouTube because copyrights and stuff. But... I wanted to so show y'all what I learned from that. So I put it on the one side. I did the drill on the one side. And then I went back with a much skinnier drill bit. And I got just a smaller hole on the other side. And it does help kind of release that air that the water and the glitter all kind of put together. So I will suggest putting two holes one bigger, one smaller. Um, it does help with some of the air going on there. Also, as you can see, I have put tape around the bottom and this is legit just to keep the glitter from spilling all over the place. And it did help out a lot. It did attract a lot of glitter, but once it was kind of stuck to the sides, then no more glitter would stick to the sides, if that makes sense. So, um, so I do recommend using the bit of tape there. It did help out a lot just to kind of keep the mess contained, except for that little spill that I had over here next to the scissors, but you know, we won't talk about that. So I am using a mixture of distilled water. I got a jug of distilled water at the store and I ordered vegetable glycerin off of Amazon and I will have that link down below. You can get distilled water very easily. It shouldn't be a problem, but you do definitely want to get distilled water, not drinking water or out of the faucet. It needs to be clean and clear because um, you know, this sits in there. If it, if it gets into this and you're sealing it up and everything, it, it could just get really gross in there after a while, you know, with like regular water. Anyways, so I did use this tiny little, um, 
squeeze bottle thing that I had that I used from like for some glues and things that I got. Um, it did help out a tremendous amount um, in keeping the liquid like going down the sides and I was able to really get up underneath the um, you know up underneath the double walled part of the bottom and I was kind of able to squirt it around um, the sides and kind of really get that glitter and the, the liquid flowing and that is definite a must on this something smaller a lot smaller than what you have there like a syringe or something like that I will link these they did um, they do get stopped up a little bit too easy so I, I like them but then there's a little bit of issues with that I don't know if glitter got in there and it got stuck I'm not exactly sure but I eventually had to eliminate that and kind of get like a syringe um, you know like a medicine syringe and kind of do it that way but I wanted to show y'all that these that this was very very helpful if you can keep it clean if you can find something that's a little bit smaller or you know maybe you have to do two or three of them I don't know but it was very very much more convenient than the other thing that I used and the other tip that I will tell you right here, like I am adding glitter and I'm adding the liquid and I'm adding glitter and I'm adding liquid. I did this for the very first time and I added all the glitter in there and it was so full I could not put any liquid. And so I will suggest that you kind of take your time with a little bit of liquid, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of liquid, a little bit of glitter kind of thing. Um, and then here I am using some silicone. I am not... 100% sold on the silicone. Um, I've seen some people take like the hot glue and kind of break it off in there or even just squirt it in there. And I don't know that I maybe would have done something like that. I thought that the silicone, I let it dry literally for 48 hours. Like it said, I, you know, I let everything air off let the bubbles come up and then I sealed it up and I mean I did I, I, I spent a lot of time on this and the silicone just didn't really dry as solid as I thought it would have um, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest with you but um, but I just I don't know that I would go that route um, in this case but you know maybe for something else so this is the next one that I did for my nephew because the first one was full of glitter and I could not put any liquid in there so it is still sitting on a shelf. But I got these off of their like cup source or something. I don't remember what they're called. Anyways, these were very smooth. I mean like the drill went in so smooth. The plastic came right out once I got it, once I got it done. I was able to drill both holes very quickly. Um, and this one just the glitter went in beautifully the liquid went in beautifully it was a it was a much better um, situation I guess you would say than the the ones that I got from like Walmart they did work and they worked out perfectly but um, I just I just I just had a little bit smoother I don't know if that's the right word I should say it sounds like Twilight um, <laughs> wanted to go smoother anyways um it, i it just it just went a lot easier for this one and that's why i wanted to share this with you so i switched it up got the smaller um drill bit and drilled the other side just a little bit smaller and had really great success with these cups if uh if they if this is something that you do want to venture into i really loved the project and i loved doing it and all of that but I will say that I don't know if it's something that I would want to maybe sell I don't know I would really need to practice many more times and give them out and make sure that I sealed them up correctly because I'm because I ended up having to do a lot of UV resin on the bottom of them and I ended up having to do um, you know an epoxy coat on this particular one here because it just was not sealing up at the bottom. And I don't know if that was the silicone or what. But 
I left this part in um, because this is the the uh, you know baseball one that I did, and but I wanted to show y'all the glitter because I did not film the other glitters because I thought that I was going to have all this coverage for all the other ones that I was doing, but it, everything was just going kind of crazy. And so I was like pausing the video and starting it up again and whatnot. But this is what I was showing you, what I was telling you about the glitter. See, it just kind of sticks to the sides a little bit on the tape, but um, eventually once the tape kind of gets covered, it doesn't really stick so much on there, you know, but um, I did not put as much glitter in this as I did on the very first one and I made sure that I shook it around a lot more because I think what happened was I had too much glitter just all in one spot or just all in the bottom so I really did make sure that I kind of shook it up and shook it up and shook it up and kind of you know made sure that the glitter was floating all around that that tumbler in the inside and then like you saw there I got you know liquid in there and then I put a little bit more uh, you know glitter and then I put a little bit more liquid and so I was kind of going back and forth and this one was like my most successful one I feel like as far as the glitter putting the glitter in putting the liquid in and getting the perfect kind of flow um, I do love how the other double wall, the, the Pioneer Women woman was, um, they did come out really beautiful, but I just felt like once I got through those two, then I got to this one and it was like, okay, I kind of know what to do now. <laughs> I kind of, you know, but that's why I encourage y'all, if you want to do this, I would say, just get a few cheap ones, like something $5 at Walmart or whatever, and just try it out for a few times and really get the feel for it because it is a, it is definitely a process. And, uh, like I said, I was just going to take y'all along for the ride and we were just going to, I was just going to give you the good and the bad and the ugly kind of thing. So once I got done, I took the tape off and I was trying to get as much liquid as I could all the way to the top um, but I was like banging it and making sure that the bubbles were kind of getting out of there I did let it kind of sit for a little while and let the bubbles come up to the surface kind of bang them out and then I would just kind of add a little more liquid and um, you know just make sure that there wasn't like globs of glitter that were all chunked up in there and um, so like I said I just kind of kept going on and then I used the silicone again thinking, okay, this time I'm going to squirt it in there, like squirt it into the hole really good. And then I am going to, which it's kind of squirted out the other side when I did that. Then I was going to like really flatten it and make it very flat on the bottom because um, I had a too much of a kind of a you know, chunky bit, you know, that was kind of on the bottom. And so I wiped everything off and I still had a problem with the seal on this one. So I'll just say, just use your judgment, use what you think. If it works for you, if you've got a husband that knows how to use this stuff better than I do, I don't know, but <laughs> that's what I would say. So here, once the silicone dried, I am taking UV resin and I am sweeping it across the bottom so that I can cover up the entire bottom and those silicone pieces. And so I just did that for both of the bottoms of these. I also did them for the bottom of the, uh, you know, the Pioneer Woman's, the first ones that we were looking at. I did the same thing. Only thing I did was I added some glitter to the, to the mix and I, I put it on there just so that it would kind of have a glittery bottom. So other than that, that's the only difference that I did here, but this is exactly what I did to those. And once I got done with those, I took a little bit of my torch here and I, uh, you know, kind of popped the bubbles. I actually let it sit on there just a tiny bit too long because I did kind of catch fire. So I would be careful with doing this kind of thing. So, um, but, uh, nothing happened, but it was kind of like, whoa, you know, so just do a quick little zip zip and that's it. So as you can see at the end there, I used two cups to put my UV light on top so I could cure that bottom there. But anyways, this is it. This is the Pioneer Woman one and I love this glitter. It's bougie. 
um, blossom. It was absolutely gorgeous, and it just flowed so beautifully. Um, I actually shook this up really a lot and got um, the covered up the flowers, so I kind of let it sit for a little bit and then showed off the flowers here. But if this inspires you or if it just helps you out in any way, please let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe. Go to my Facebook group and join the group, and we can hang out there. And um, a lot of things are coming in the fall. This is another one that I did. The color was way darker than I thought. <laughs> To go into this but you know i'm thinking maybe fall colors or whatever but it did work and i was very pleased with them and thank you for watching subscribe hit the bell and i'll see you next time